Hello, my name is Orla Parslow Breen and I am the course director for the BSc Psychology programme run by the School of Psychology here at Ulster University. This presentation is designed to tell you a little bit about our school and our degree programme. So you'll get to know a little bit about psychology at Ulster, the different areas in psychology that we teach and what our programme looks like. So let's have a look at why you would study psychology at Ulster specifically, what the strengths of our course are and why you should want to come to us. We also look at the sorts of things that you'll learn. And this is not just about psychology, but also the learning outcomes. That is the skills that you'll develop on the course. Those above skills above and beyond those psychology based skills that that you'll gain. And what I'm talking about here is the transferable skills that employers are really, really interested in. We look at how you'll be taught and the different ways that we have to support you. And we'll also talk a little bit about careers, the sorts of things that you can do when you graduate with a degree in psycho psychology. Many people do want to go on and become professional psychologists, but there are also many, many other careers available to psychology graduates because of the transferable skills that you'll gain from the degree. And so to start, why study psychology at Ulster? What is it that really sets our course apart from other universities' psychology courses? And of course, most of the universities in the UK and Ireland will have a psychology degree. But this is what we think makes our course unique and why you should come to see it to, to, to learn with us. And this has personalized teaching, top class facilities, and our concerns about our, the employability of our graduate students. First though, before that we look at each of these, one of the things that you really need to look for when you're thinking about studying psychology is that the course that you choose has been accredited by the British Psychological Society. This is because if you want to go on and become a professional psychologist, you will need to have studied an accredited psychology degree. Our course has been accredited by the BPS, so it gives you what is called graduate basis for chartership. You'll sometimes see that noted as GBC. And this is the first step in becoming a professional psychologist. Looking at the things that set us apart, first is the personalized teaching support. We have one to one tutorials, especially in the first year when you're starting out and getting to grips with psychology and, of course, getting to grips with your new life at university. We offer one to one mentoring and we also teach in small seminar groups. We also have really great facilities. We have some really excellent labs. We have a cognitive neuroscience lab as well as a human performance and exercise lab. We've invested a lot of money in our student hub areas, and these are really nice, bright spaces that you can use as a place to meet up with your friends. And of course, you can also use them for as breakout study areas as well. You'll see staff using these areas from time to time as well. And if you do, just pop over and say hi. And the really great thing about the student hub is that it's just for psychology students. We also work very hard to make sure that, that you're very employable. One of the key things that we really want to do as a school is to create a passion for psychology so that you can learn, understand and enjoy the subject. We also want to make sure that you can get a job when you graduate, which is, I'm sure, important to you as well. So we work very hard on our employability skills, which is reflected in the learning outcomes and assessments of our modules. Our degree was recently re-accredited by the BPS, and one of the things that they really commended us about was our focus on employability. So that we are sure that you gain the skills that employers need, we have what we call our employers liaison group. 
This is where we ask employers across psychology and other sectors as well to come and meet with us in order to find out what it is that they really want from their employees and specifically what they want from graduate employees. And then we try to ensure that the, those types of skills that are embedded across our program. So, you know, it might be that employers tell us they want people to be able to work in teams and to give presentations. And so we try to make sure that we're giving you these types of assessments that build on these skills, such as work based assessments, group based assessments and presentations. And of course, it's also about making sure that you're able to understand psychology at a level where you can apply it in the real world. So you have the opportunity to undertake placement should you choose to, as well as take part in our psychology at work module in your final year. Both of which will upskill you in terms of working with real world employers and in applying psychological knowledge in the workplace environment. Now, in order to be able to apply your psychological knowledge to real world issues, this requires you to develop strong research skills, such as learning strategies for gathering information and synthesizing it. You'll be required to search for, read and use in your assignments and projects a lot of psychological literature, that is published psychological research, which you'll find using online research databases not Google, but online academic databases. Through reading psychological literature, synthesizing information and analyzing data, you will learn to detect meaningful patterns in human behavior. You'll also learn how to apply research methodologies and statistics, which sometimes comes as a bit of a surprise to new psychology students. You'll learn about the scientific method, experimental methods and statistics. You'll also learn about qualitative study design and qualitative methodologies. Understanding and learning about research methodologies, statistics, qualitative methods of analysis are all really, really important steps in learning to be an independent researcher. Throughout your degree, all the research skills that you learn build towards your final year where you will undertake a dissertation with the support of your supervisor. You in the dissertation, you will design and conduct a piece of independent research. Along the way, you'll also learn to reason scientifically. As well as the psychology specific skills that you will gain, you will also gain other skills that employers really value, such as effective communication, that is written and verbal communication, which you'll develop both in formal assessment and in professional communication with staff through email. You will also develop initiative, self-direction and time management. All of these skills are sought after skills by employers and key in gaining employment when you graduate. And so in terms of the degree itself, our full time degree is over three years or four if you choose to go on placement. In the first year, we teach you the fundamentals. You will study two modules in the first year that give you an introduction to psychology. In these modules, the very broad areas of social psychology, developmental psychology, individual differences, biopsychology, all the different areas within the psychology are covered. We'll also teach you some research methods and statistics. Also in the first year, we have a module, Psychological Perspectives of, on Wellness and Resilience, which is designed to build your capacity for resilience, where we try to teach you methods to help you with resilience, help you with uh, help your mental health and help you deal with, with the stress and, 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 and study skills. We developed this module with colleagues at the University of Pittsburgh in the United States over the last couple of years. And it has been recently introduced to our degree program where it has been really well received by our current students. It's a really great module that teaches you some, some great life skills along with psychological theory. So that's the first year. 
in the second year, we really get into the core areas in much more depth. So whilst we teach the core areas within the introductory modules of the first year, it is in the second year that you will have specific modules related to social psychology, developmental psychology, individual differences, psychobiology, cognitive psychology, and also advanced research methods. All these areas are the areas that the British Psychological Society call as the core areas of psychology. And it should, they should be part of any good BPS accredited degree program. Now, within these core areas, area modules, you'll learn about grand theories, behavioral theories, cognitive theories, and humanistic theories, which we as psychologists use to try and explain human behavior. Now, when it comes to your third year, you have a choice. You can either go straight on to your final year of studies, and we'll talk about that in a moment, or you can choose to go on placement. We have placement opportunities with lots of organizations such as the NSPCC and Childline. And some of our placement students go to work with the PSNI, particularly if they're interested in forensic psychology. We also send quite a lot of students to the Simon community in Dublin. These students are often interested in addiction or homelessness and the attendant issues and difficulties people may have as a result. There is also the opportunity to study abroad through the Erasmus programme with opportunities to study in places like Sweden or the United States, for example. Looking to the final year of the degree, this is made up of two compulsory modules, the dissertation and the psychology at work module. As well as those two compulsory modules, you will also take four optional modules. And it is through the optional modules that you can tailor your degree to suit what you think you might want to do when you graduate. You may, of course, already be thinking of something that, that might interest you, perhaps clinical psychology. And if you were thinking about that, then you could choose to take the Applied Psychology Mental Health Practice module. Other modules that we have are forensic psychology, very, in, very popular with those who want to go on to do forensic psychology, uh, behaviour analysis, health psychology, sport and exercise psychology, and, and many, many more. By choosing your final optional, the final year optional modules, you can tailor your degree to your personal interests. And then, of course, the compulsory module, the final year project, which you will sometimes hear called a dissertation. This is a project that you do over the duration of your final year. It will involve you working very closely with a dissertation supervisor on a piece of independent research on a topic that is of interest to you. So how will I be taught? Following the COVID pandemic, we have now returned to full-time face-to-face teaching, which in the first two years of our degree programme means that you will be on campus three days a week. Psychology is a very popular subject, so you will have some very large group lectures every week, but you will also have some small group sessions as well. You will study three modules in semester one and three modules in semester two. Each module involves three hours of teaching time per week, which is usually delivered as a two hour lecture followed by a one hour small group session or practical class. There is also a lot of independent learning involved in a degree. For those of you who are still at school and thinking about A-levels or, or finishing A-levels this year, university is quite different. We ask you to do a lot of independent learning, which involves researching topics that you learn about in lectures and practical classes, as well as reading both the set readings and independent reading on topic that you've, re you, you've re searched out for yourself. But we do guide you through the process to become more and more independent as the degree progresses. So it's not like all of a sudden we ask you to behave very, very differently. Now, I know some of you may not be at school, 
but are coming back to education after having take, taken a break. And of course, we're, we're, we're able and have ways to help support you into your transition to the learning environment too. Now, as far as assessment is concerned, we, 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 we will expect you to do coursework, multiple choice tests, timed final assessments and exams, not all in one module, but across the various modules, there's variation in, in assessment. Some modules are fully coursework based. We try to make sure our assessments are varied and interesting. We have problem based and project based learning experiences where you might be expected to work in groups towards a common goal, for example, producing a group based presentation or report. But there are also more, more the more traditional essays, practical reports and things like that. We have recently invested quite a lot of money, just over 1.3 million in the physical resource of our department. We've created some really nice research labs where members of staff do their research. Of course, we also use them for teaching, so you, can, you too will be able to get involved and learn how to use some really nice equipment. Psychology at Ulster has a very strong reputation in statistical analysis. We have a data and analytics centre and we carry out research along with colleagues in lots of different universities across the UK and in America and in many other countries. We've also upgraded all of our experimental cubicles and have purchased software called Gorilla, which allows you to do experiments online as well as host online surveys to collect data. We have also created eight social suites, which, we are, which are used for things like counselling for those learning to be, be thera a therapist or counsellor. But we also use them for teaching things like interview skills, for example. We have a child friendly kids lab where our developmental psychologists do their research. And of course, as I've mentioned before, we have our student hub area, which is a dedicated spa space specifically for our psychology students. So how do we support you? Well, in general, we have a very open door policy in our department. We like to see our students around the hallways and you can come and speak to staff who are a very friendly and approachable bunch. In fact, many of our current students often say that they value our friendly and open door approach. We have small group tutorials and one to one mentoring, as well as peer mentoring, a peer mentoring scheme called our PASS scheme. And this is where second year students engage really meaningfully with you as first years to talk to you about the difficulties that they that you may face as new students, talk to you about the, the, the course itself and talk about the subject areas. They've actually just very recently been in first year. They know the pitfalls and the difficulties and the subject area. So we run these sessions in order to help with that and help guide you back, guide you into university life. We have a virtual learning environment called Blackboard where you will find teaching materials for each of your modules. And we have dissertation supervisors. So each of you will have one member of staff who will work directly with you in your third year when you come to do your final year project. And we have lots and lots of, li of, of library resources, both physical books in the library itself, as well as in electronic format. So the library sto stocks both physical books and eBooks. You will also have access to many psychology journals in electronic format. We work very closely with our colleagues in careers who will come to talk to you about the skills that you need in order to get jobs. We also have careers events where we invite psychologists along who are working in clinical counselling, occupational, forensic areas of psychology. These come up, to, we invite them along to come to talk to you about those areas and how to get into careers in those areas. We also have a really, really brilliant research culture within our school. So we invite outside researchers to come along and talk to the school, which students are invited to. And we also ourselves in the school, we have lots and lots of fantastic researchers who are part of our faculty, people who will be teaching you 
who also give research talks as well. Beyond the school itself, the university has a student wellbeing service, which you will, of course, have access to. So what do our students think about psychology at Ulster? Well, here we have the views of one of our students, Lucy Morgan. This is what she has to say about why she chose Ulster University and what she enjoyed about the course. So. In answer to the question, why did you apply to psychology at Ulster? Lucy responds, studying at Ulster allowed me to stay close to home whilst also experiencing university life. Coleraine was so welcoming and had such a friendly environment with psychology's placement options really appealing to me as well. And when asked about what route did you come through, Lucy responds, I left school after completing my GCSEs as I wanted to study sports science. During the course, I really engaged with the sports psychology module. So I decided to apply to do a psychology degree. And to the question, what do you most enjoy about the course? Lucy says, I honestly love everything about the course. When I came to university, I didn't know anyone. So I was worried about working in gr groups and doing presentations with people I didn't know. However, you are put in small groups with lots of support, giving you plenty of opportunities to meet new people. So as you can see, Lucy joined us after studying sports science at college and chose Ulster as she wanted the opportunity to go on placement. One of the things Lucy was worried about was not knowing anyone, but she found our campus a welcoming environment with plenty of support and lots of opportunities to meet new people. So Lucy's enthusiasm for psychology at Ulster is echoed by many others of our other, of our other students, some of which are always around on an, on, at our open days and applicant days. So it would be really great if you are able to come along to one of those events, as you would have the opportunity to speak to our students and ask them directly what they think. And of course, you'd also have the opportunity to speak with the staff who would be teaching you. Now, as Lucy mentioned, one of the things that many students value about our programme is the option to go on placement. If you choose to go on placement, you can do a number of things. Some students go to work in special education schools. Some work in health trusts, working in a mental health role. There have been many opportunities to work with the Public Health Agency, the PSNI and the NHS. And if you get really excited about some of, of, of my research, sometimes some of our colleagues in the school have opportunities to come and do research with them to work as research assistants. Students who are considering taking part in placement will be, will be expected to sign up for the year two placement module that will prepare you for going out onto placement. Whether you go on placement or not, every student will get the opportunity to work with some of our partner organisations on our award winning third year module psychology at work. In this module, students get the opportunity to work with one of our partner organisations on a real world project. We work with a number of organisations, including Childline, Nexus, the NSPCC and many, many different groups far more than, than are listed on the, on the slide here. And in these, when, when you work with these organizations, you will work on projects that require you to apply your psychological knowledge and skills gained over the course of your degree to help the organization with an, a real issue that they are currently facing. So here on this slide are some of the projects that students have worked on. If we take the, the first one, create advice for parents when speaking to children about their diagnosis of, ca of cancer. Now, if this, we're looking at this first one, it, you know, the students working on this project would have had to have drawn very heavily on theory and research from developmental psychology to help work to, to develop the um, advice that the organization required. And indeed, the advice that was developed in this is now being used by that particular partner organization. But there are lots and lots of different um, projects 
uh, as you can see here, these are just an example of a few. So another one is develop a leaflet outlining the positive effects of self-care when diagnosed with, with cancer. Create specific advice for those who are experiencing domestic abuse in terms of safe ways to contact support organisations. Develop a value-based recruitment policy. Engage older people in communal gardening and growing their own food. As you can imagine, all of these types of projects expect, the stu expect our final year students to draw upon all the psychological knowledge that they've gained in order to, to, to come up with a, 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 an answer to the problem. This is real problem-based learning. So what do our employers want? As I've said previously, we are keen at Ulster to, that your degree will equip you to get a job. So one of the things that we do is to make sure that if you choose to do our psychology degree at Ulster, we provide you with the skills that employers require. You may want to go into one of the professional psychology careers, which would be brilliant, of course, and we can guide you towards that. As a first step, your degree from your psychology degree from Ulster is accredited and recognised by the BPS. But you might also want to go into other, uh, another career such as advertising, marketing, human resources, or any role that requires you to have some psychological insight of, 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 of your fellow human being, along with professional transferable skills such as practical problem solving, scientific skills, project management skills, team working skills, and importantly, the ability to communicate your ideas. These are all the types of skills that are in huge demand across all sectors of employment. And these are the skills that we would expect you to gain should you choose to study with us. Of course, your psychology degree means that you will be able to apply for future careers in psychology as well. Your degree gives you the grounding to be able to go on and apply for a, and study to become a professional psychologist in any one of the core areas of psychology, such as counselling psychology, forensic psychology, clinical health, and others like sports psychology and occupational psychology. You know, there are some really, really interesting and professional psychology jobs out there. And if that's what you want to do, we have colleagues here who will be able to help and guide you in that direction. So here is a summary of what the BSc, uh, the, the BSc Psychology here at Ulster offers. First, Psychology is the science of the brain and behaviour. It's about exploring why people behave the way they do and understanding the different circumstances and the different things that cause those behaviours and doing this in a scientific manner. Therefore, you will learn about how people engage with the world and each other, what causes people to behave in the way that they do and how their behaviour has developed. You'll learn about how the business of psychological research is conducted, that is scientifically, and learn those research skills for yourself so that you can conduct your own independent research. And of course, you will learn about the different specialisms within psychology. You will be taught in lectures, seminars, tutorials, and practical classes, and you will be assessed through a variety of assessments from the traditional essay through to more formal timed assessments and practical lab reports. Whilst for those who want to, there will be opportunities to go on placement. As our degree is BPS accredited, our psychology graduates are able to study further to become professional psychologists or they can go on to study applied behavior and analysis and for those who don't want to progress further within psychology there are many career paths such as marketing public relations advertising where psychology graduates are very welcomed so if you choose to apply to Ulster Psychology is based at the Coleraine campus and the UCAS code for the course is C, that's C for Charlie, 820. 
Further details about the course, along with entry requirements, can be found on our website. Now, all courses at Ulster, not just psychology, are continually reviewed, both in terms of teaching and in research developments, both in industry and professionally. And this is really, really important and something we take very seriously. In psychology, we have recently reviewed our program in what has been what's called a process of revalidation. So you can be sure that if you come to Ulster, that the course you study will be up to date in terms of both teaching and research. With respect to modules, these can change from time to time, as to can the order in which they are taught. And this is this is very, very much linked to staff availability. So it's important to contact the course team for the most up to date information. And of course, you are welcome to get in touch at any time. You can find me on the University Ulster University Psychology staff web page. My name again is Orla Parslow Breen and you will find my contact details there. And a little bit of word about where we are based. The School of Psychology is based at Ulster U University's Coleraine campus, which is situated close to the River Ban and the north coast seaside towns of Port Stewart and Port Rush. Our campus has modern teaching facilities and an extensive library, which has study spaces for both individual and group study. The campus is also home to the Riverside Theatre, which hosts music, drama and comedy events. There's a woodland trail on campus, which students and staff can enjoy, as well as a sports centre facilities. Finally, you will, will find information about our entry requirements on the university website. Should you have any questions about equivalency of qualification uh, or, and, and, or uh, any other specific individual circumstance, you should contact admissions at ulster.ac.uk who will be able to help you. And of course, if you want more information about the course or any other aspect of study at Ulster, please navigate to our website, ulster.ac.uk, or email study at ulster.ac.uk. So if you like what you, you see, please apply now through UCAS for Psychology at Ulster, Coleraine Campus, UCAS code. C820. Thank you.